So I grabbed a couple things that are not dead, but have issues. They do, it seems. So, we will take our test machine and set it gracefully aside. Now this one does seem to be a half a silver label. See, it's got the silver label, but over at the power light it says power and not um, it doesn't have the 64 symbol there. It doesn't. But anyway, it says works, but no sound. 1541, test OK. Old logo. 64, pretty clean. So. I, as I have been testing the odd SID ship, maybe. This is the time. Screws are out. One, two, three. Two, there we go. Now I'm thinking that this is going to be an older, original board, but you never know. Oh yeah, it is. Go on, it's mighty clean. And it's mighty stiff. Mighty stiff. All right, we'll set that aside, and we will get our power, and we will get our. video and we'll turn it on. And oh yeah, it looks like an old original machine. Let's see here. One, two. Yeah, you see those beautiful lines? Yeah. This is pretty early. Actually the PLA chip um has a sticker on it that says 64 rev 384.11. Yeah, this is pretty old. Anyway, it said there was no sound. I don't doubt that there's no sound, but I'd like to see what's what. The, the chips all look very early. Um, some, well, you know, early-ish. They're certainly not all socketed. We have 34th work of it. 34th week of 82. The SID chip is the 22nd week of 82. The 6510 looks like it's the 18th week of 82. Where is the did test? Alright, maybe I did not get this in properly. Whoa. We'll work that in a bit. It's strange. The dead test cartridge usually works on machines that are alive. Ah, uh there -huh. we go. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Yeah, the wrong chips are. Oh, well, you know, eighty-two, and this board is. A 326-298, revision A. I have not taken this off as of yet. But I'm assuming there's a video chip in there. But what we are really waiting for is to hear if this thing will sing. Oh, oh. And if it will not sing, Can we put in another SID chip 
to make it sing. And if so, here's one for you too. Okay, there's the sound test, and we hear nothing. All right. Hmm. Where is my favorite little screwdriver? Maybe. Alright, I'm going to be very careful with this. And I'll check. Change it off. I'll check the pins after I take it out. But it would seem that this SID chip, it did. Now, it came from 22, the 22nd week of 82. And the pins all look good. And we're replacing it with one from the 45th week of 82, which is good as it gets right now. All right, we're going in. But there's other chips in here, 34th week, 34th week. You know. So this is definitely Suspicious. Suspiciously bad. Now, I'm going to put it in this bag. I am. But, if this one also doesn't work, when I know it does work, Then, there must be something else afoot. Can you imagine? Indeedy. So, we will see. It's funny how many different versions of these boards where I'm just looking very carefully to see if I see anything else missing, anything burned, anything, you know, deficient. But so far, no. So we should be getting close to the sound check. That was easy. Let's see what happens. I know the volume is up, and I know that that SID chip works, because it was with the good SID chips. So, interesting. Well, let's get our little troubleshooting hat on. I'm going to put the dead test cartridge in this machine. So the dead test is up. So that is strange. No, oh, Penny, oh, Penny. There you go. Penny, come on up on the chair. Penny, 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 Penny. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Do to hold you, Penny? Is that what you want? Oh, I'm going to hold you, Penny. There we go. Okay, look at it on the screen. 
That's the dead test. Yes, it is. No, you can't get down there. I know, you don't really like being held too much. Don't like that. I know, Penny. I know, poor Penny. I'll rub your back. There you go. Poor Penny. Okay, why don't we go to the chair? There you go. Alright, so this is mysterious. Isn't it mysterious, Penny? So, you know what? I had a feeling. I don't know why. But maybe it was a little too soon to throw that sit chip in there. Alright, so soon the sound check will come. Here we have another SID chip from 23rd week of 84. And we're putting in 22nd week of 82. Now, in this machine, we had no sound. But why? Why? Anyway, we have this chip. We know it's okay. We'll put it back with the other test, or the other chips. And we'll see. I have another machine here. Of course I do. And this one, I have high hopes that this it's a machine much like this, in terms of its, um, just trying to peek inside. It, it says this is garage number 11 and it works, which is a good sign. But I would like to think it's one that had the shield, that has all the chips and sockets, and, um, it's funny, I really can't see. Maybe it doesn't. I can see the wires. Ah, we'll see. Alright. We are preparing for the sound test. Otherwise, look pretty good. See, I don't just have broken ones. I have some that actually do work. This is a mystery. It is. So, indeed, that SID chip is in this good system, in this good board, is doing nothing. Let's take it out. Look at the pins. Okay, we'll put it back in here. this out. I will look at the pins. They all look fine. Absolutely fine. So we'll put it in. Look at the pins. Turn it on. So not much of this is socketed. 6510 is. The PLA chip is. And the PLA chip is an early version. If you look, it has a sticker on it. That means it is before, from what I know, the Commodore um, reverse engineering. In other words, stealing the chip. Everything else is, oh, except for the uh, 902 or 901 2G5 chip, is in the socket. That will make this 
more difficult. But what would rob this feast of its voice were it not the Sidship? Well, I don't know. I just don't know. But we will see. What we will see, and we will see it. We shall. Alright. So. We are approaching the time of reckoning. Indeed, I think I'm going to go for, I don't know why, I mean, one of the reasons I'll go for this is it's in a socket. It's tough. But I'm going to try the 6510, because who knows. So I'm going to leave. chip that just worked, that I know works, in this machine. Hello, take a 65 pin. Look at the pins. Establish the witness mark. Very carefully. Oh. Insert. And we're in. Soon it will come up. Soon it will come up. That was easy. So, do I really think that it's a 6510? I don't know. I really don't know. But, um, you know, everything flows through it somehow. But definitely the SID chip is dead. But why would another SID chip not work when we know that that SID chip works? Hello again, Penny. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? This is perplexing. It is. Maybe while I have a moment, I'll try. Heading into the danger zone. There is a thing at the end here, it's a heat sink, and it is making it very difficult for me to get that off, but I'm not going to force it. Solve the witness mark. It 
thin. It's on. Here we go. So yes, once again, there it is. An early looking 64. This will be. This, I'm not, I cannot remember ever having this come up. I cannot. It irks me. But so be it. Wow! We're waiting for this. Maybe I will release the screws. here, I'm just going to take a piece in here. No, this is not. Oh. I don't want to break the fingers off. Oh, come on. I don't want to hurt anything. Okay, I'm just going to put that down. It doesn't seem to have the big shield that I hit open. Well, There's only one thing else. Oh no, there's two. There's the character wrong, 901225. But that, I cannot imagine. And see, the other thing is, of course, the video chip. See, now, I was having trouble, there's this heat sink thing, that's nothing to do with the video chip, but it's making it hard for me to get the cover off, and it's still hard. And actually this cover looks a lot better than most I've seen, it's not corroded. have this fear of that horrible snapping sound. Okay. So, that's off. It is. So the one thing I always wonder about these is, um, you know, the big chip and the SID chip are quite close together. So who knows? I don't think it's going to be this. This wrong. I really do Easy. We're heading off into the abyss. So, while that is doing that, and we have silence, I'm going to try again. 
to get this machine out of the Okay, so the chip is working. This is really stuck. I really. See this should not be. I can see the screen on these things. Why is it holding on so tight? Why? I do not want to break these. Maybe. If I pull from here. Nope. They're not coming off. Not that I really need them to, because I'm working on this other machine. Ooh. Okay. Nothing broke. So, indeed, all the chips seem to be socketed, but they don't have the shield. Alright, well. The last thing socketed is the video chip. So does that mean it's what's wrong? I cannot say. I do not think so. I would be surprised. But then, you never know, you know. Remember this video chip, remember this, this display was looking awful. Awful, awful, awful. So, it is off. So who knows, maybe it was doing something strange. that affected the circuitry. Do I really think that? No, I don't. So, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to look. It looks okay, although I could have been to pound it. I see you there, Andrew. I've run into a mystery. What? I've run into a mystery. What? Well, I have something that I don't know why it's not working. It should be working, but it's not working. And I'm just pinning it down. So, but I think this is the last chip for me to check on this, so soon I will be available. Because after this I will have to sit and think. Oh dear. Did I miss it? No, I didn't miss it. I did not. It's pretty warm. Alright. Oh. 6510 feels pretty warm too. Well, this is the sound of silence. I'm just waiting to hear if this, this machine will sing, Andrew. I'm testing the sound chip.